So, we're picking up a brand new line of saws. These are uh, crosscut saws. We've got crosscut saws, two man, one man. Got them from six foot to three foot. We've got uh, in three different blade uh, or tooth configurations. We've got on the top right there, we've got uh, Great American Style. We've got uh, next one down is a peg tooth. And then we've got in the one man, we've got the Great American in the four foot, three foot. And then we've got a champion tooth style here in the three foot. I want to do another video um, coming up on the tooth styles and, and maybe some of the use, but just thought you might all like to be up to date on some of our new products that are coming online. We've never ordered from them before, just got these in and uh, are doing some photo shoot for uh, the website and hopefully be having those up soon. Hopefully I'll have those up by the time you get these, uh, get this video up. But um, I'll go ahead and show we've got some of their hand saws as well. Maybe put a little video of those also. But uh, they, they were a great company to work with out of Sheffield, England. And out of Sheffield, go ahead and see if I can get in here. These are Lynx brand. Sheffield, England. I'm also going to be posting a video of their... Um, some of the manufacturing that they do. They also make hand planes and a few other items. And it's really awesome, awesome to see. We're really proud to be bringing these on. Uh, I'm happy with the quality so far. I'm gonna go ahead and bring, I'll bring over um, an old, I've, I've picked up a couple of uh, crosscut saws before. And in fact, let me go ahead and put you on hold and I'll bring one of those in and I'll show you some of the differences that I really like between these. All right, so here we've got some difference in the tooth uh, pattern. We've got on the top, we've got a six foot uh, two man, and it's got the Great American tooth pattern. Then we move down, we've got a six foot. This is a peg tooth pattern. We move down and we've got the champion uh, tooth pattern. Right now we've only got the champion in, I believe that's a three foot uh, or maybe that's a four foot one man. Um, then we've got, uh, we don't sell these. These are different saws that I've picked up over the years. Um, this peg tooth, you can tell that would be a peg tooth pattern as well, but it's much smaller compared to these links. See the difference there? So there's just a lot to go on. This saw is also much uh, thinner. Looks to me like just about all. I have not put a mic on the uh, Link saws, but they're all thicker than this one, even the, the ones that are in its size. I believe it's a uh, five foot. And also its handles, if you can see here its handle. I'm not a big fan of its and the styling. You can tell it's a newer saw. Um, but that's just to me. It works. It does okay. But um, just there's a lot of variation in the quality um, versus these saws. Even, I mean, this is not a bad. This is made in Germany. Over. Okay. That's not a bad saw. You see in there. But anyways. Uh, the, this old one, this is my favorite saw that I've ever used. That thing can cut, it can cut, and it's got, um, I like the way that its handles lock on, and then they just slide off. That's pretty versatile. That's an older saw, I'm not quite sure what age it is or where it comes from. I can't find really any markings on it. Wish that I could. Then we've got over here, this is how the handles work on these link saws. That actually is pretty nice as well. You can take that off fairly quickly or uh, put it back on and fairly easy to tighten up. So I'm pretty happy with those. So far, uh, they seem to work really well. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and close this video out. I might just post a tiny bit of actually using one, or I might not. We might come back and visit that in another video. I just wanted this to be a quick introduction to these saws. Um, let me let me also put out just a few of the hand saws, and that way you can also know that we've got those, or maybe I'll put those on another video. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and close out. God bless y'all, and see you in the next video. Bye now.